We've seen a lot of cool phone cases here at CES 2014, from the Yellow Jacket Stun Gun phone case to Mophie's Space Pack, which gives you additional storage and battery life. There's really, really a lot of cool stuff. But this is possibly the hottest or the coolest iPhone case around. It's the F of FLIR. Uh, forward-looking infrared. It's a little hard to remember, but remember, it's FLIR. Uh, iPhone case, which basically is a thermal imaging camera built into the case for an iPhone 5. Um, you can see it's a visual camera here, as well as a thermal camera over there with a calibration tool below it. Um, this will adjust the um, temperature reading, but we'll get to that later. Now, if you see in front here, this is a very cool interface um, that shows you just which parts of what you're seeing are hot or not. Um, and there's a lot of interesting use cases for this. You can use it to tell if, you're having, if your body is running a high temperature. In fact, this technology is being used at airports around the world to see if uh, certain people are really running high temperatures and should be taken away to be quarantined. Another really interesting feature we think is ghost hunters. We're going to really like this is because look at that um, somewhat cool surface over there. And you can see my, my hand is all kinds of hot right now. What you can do is it'll detect changes in temperature or places that have changed temperature. So you can see my handprint. So if you know if a ghost walks by and leaves a hand message for you, um, you can detect that as well with the FLIR. Um, other interesting uh, uses include night vision. Uh, so if you turn off all the lights in your home or you're out camping and you just want to see what's around you, you can use this. It'll go through walls, it'll look through um, your tent so you can really get a good idea of what's in your surroundings. Now we want to see, uh, we can also get a uh, a specific measurement, temperature measurement, so you can use this as a sort of visual thermo thermometer as well. And Jeff with FLIR over here is going to show you just how to do that. He's going to point the camera at uh, this part of the camera, and he, he pulled it down to calibrate uh, the, the, thermometer, the thermometer reading. He's going to aim it at my tear duct because that's the part of your body uh, that will have the most accurate body temperature reading. And then you can see on the screen right now, it should be showing you my body temperature. I, I don't know what it is. I might be running a fever from CES. It's CES fever. What's my body temperature, Jeff? Yeah, you're running a little bit. This isn't exactly your body temperature. It's the best indication we have of what your body temperature would be. And this is showing about 90, uh, 97 degrees. I'm a healthy 97-ish degrees. Um, you know, for better information on what your ideal body temperature should be like, you should look into that yourself. But remember, as Jeff said, it's not the most accurate because it's not inside your body. It's your tear duct. So there's better ways of checking that out. But if you're in a hurry and you want to figure out if your son or your uh, pet might be sick, this is a really good tool. Uh, another interesting thing is you can switch the color profiles just by swiping. It's very Instagram-y. Um, there's all kinds of different colors. And then there's settings so you can take video, you can take photo, and this comes with a 1400 milliamp hour battery so you can actually switch it to charge your phone um, if you want, if you're low on battery and need some help with that. So um, for $350, this might be a little bit of a pricey um, solution. But if we can see a lot of people who are maybe outdoor enthusiasts or electricians that might need certain on-the-go kind of solution for when they go fix houses or to look for um, certain other um, appliances, this will be a very good tool. Um, it's available in spring 2014, and we look forward to getting a review unit uh, to find out more about FLIR's thermal sensing iPhone 5 case. It's only available for iPhone 5 now, but it, it should be available for other types of phones in the future. So again, stay tuned for more at laptopmac.com. I'm Sherlyn Lowe.